As for the one whom Allah and his angels send blessings upon, as for the one whose character was above and beyond, as for the one who you slander and he doesn't respond, say whatever you want about him, but he will never be harmed. Your pens cannot depict him. His beauty can never be drawn. No human can surpass him. No devil can take his form, assassinate his character, but his legacy lives on. And every time you try to break it, it only strengthens our bond. You don't know him like we know him. Every aspect of his life, from his birth to his death, to his pond in paradise. How he fasted all day and how he prayed all night when women were like slaves and he gave them rights. Baby girls were being buried and he saved their life. When this earth was covered in darkness, he was a ray of light. If you want to insult the Prophet of Allah, and the Deen of Islam. You should first take out the time to read the Quran. The revelation that he brought could not be from a man. And if you think that it can, maybe we can sit down together and read it again. When no man could have known that the universe expands before the body of Pharaoh was found in a foreign land. When they said the sun was standing still and he told us that it ran information. It took man a millennium to understand, but it was already there written in the Quran. This man that you mock and are accusing of lying. Tell me how could he know of the origin of iron facts that were not yet discussed discovered by science there's only one explanation to the source of his guidance I mean how many times can someone guess the unknown without ever once in their lifetime getting it wrong your pens cannot depict him his beauty can never be drawn no human can surpass him no devil can take his form assassinate his character but his legacy lives on say whatever you want about him but he will never be harmed